Hey guys, so I created this look today. I know, I'm wearing blue on my eyes. Isn't that amazing? I played with the new Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette right here. This is what I used. Yeah, so some things worked out, some things didn't, um, but this is what look I came up with and I'm excited because I actually played with color today. So this is really fun. So before we go into testing out these new products, make sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys are brand new, every Saturday I do the PR hauls and then every Tuesday I do the first impressions of testing out the makeup that I hauled. And also make sure to keep up to date with me on Instagram. I always post when I'm posting there and when I do bonus videos and everything like that. So definitely follow me on Instagram, Madison89Miller. And let's just go ahead and get into testing out this makeup and seeing how I created this look. The face is already prepped and primed for foundation because I don't have any new primers to try out yet. And the foundation we're gonna try out today is the Lawless Woke Up Like This Flawless Finish Makeup. It says to shake well. The shade I'm using is Mojave. So I am so excited. I finally got my hands on this foundation. Um, I'm kind of bummed because they also gave me a coupon code but it already expired because it got lost in the mail. That's kind of a bummer, but this one is supposed to be very dewy, I guess, which is good for me because I am dry to normal skin. But I'm just gonna put a little bit on my palette and the brush that I'm gonna try it out with on one side of my face is gonna be the It Brushes for Ulta. This is the Superstar Flawless Foundation Brush. <laughs> I got this for like 4th of July and I found it in my bin and I was like, oh, we should try this out and see how this works. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the foundation, dot it on my skin. I am self tan, which is why I am using a darker shade than my face, just in case you guys are wondering. I have to say the foundation is definitely like really tacky and like kind of sticky in a sense. So I'm definitely gonna wanna, I feel like I'm definitely gonna wanna set, set this. Well, I wanna set everything. All right, so here is half of the foundation on my skin and then here's my skin with no foundation. And I have to say, it's actually really, really nice. I believe it's also supposed to be full coverage and it definitely did cover up everything really nicely. Like you can't really see really any of my acne scars peeking through, which is really good. And I didn't put that much on. Like I feel like I have a very light layer. It definitely left a very dewy finish, which I think is really pretty and what I want right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put foundation on the other side and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I'm taking my beauty blender just to go over everything to make sure there's no brush marks. I always like to do this. If I apply my foundation with a brush, I like to go over with a beauty sponge just to pick up any excess and to make sure everything is pressed into the skin beautifully. And oh my gosh, I really like the finish of this. This actually has a really pretty finish. It's a very dewy finish. So I have to say, stay away from this if you are oily. But if you are dry to normal, I think you would like it because it leaves like a healthy glow to the skin. I'm excited and it has great coverage too. I really like it. Again, the shade that I use is Mojave. Yeah, I can't wait to see how the rest of my makeup applies on top of that. Next up, I'm gonna try out this concealer right here from IT Cosmetics. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm gonna use this one to kind of just brighten up the inner corner of my eye and then I'm gonna use my other ones to really lift the face and kind of do more of my highlighting with my concealer. But this is supposed to be really good to cover dark circles. And I have to say the lack of sleep that I'm getting right now during this third trimester, my eyes, it's like so bad. I've been really like using up my Becca one right now because oh, look how much I've already used. This thing's got like a huge dent in it um, because my eyes are just, I can tell like you could see the divots, you could see darkness and I don't have, I never had that before. And now it's like really picking up because I'm not getting like barely any sleep right now. So we're gonna put this thing to the test. And I know that this is definitely like thick, so you don't wanna to use too much of it. So I'm actually going to put, the, I believe they also changed the packaging too. So I'm just gonna put a really tiny amount right there. And if you're wondering where I got my palette from, I got it from Ofra. I like it because I don't have to put my foundation on the back of my hand and stuff and like I can mix things with it. Next up I'm gonna be using their It Brushes for Ulta, which you guys gotta check out if you haven't already, they're amazing. This is the Airbrush Flawless Complexion and I'm just gonna use this end right here, and I'm just gonna pop this in just right underneath my eyes right there. Oh yeah, 
Look at that. That is already brightening us up. Oh my gosh. I wish I would have used this sooner. <laughs> Alrighty, so that definitely brightened us up. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealers. I love these. I use shade Vanilla and Snow when I'm self-tanned. So I'm just gonna pop these on all over my face and then blend it out. Okay, so concealer is all blended out. This is definitely nice if you have dark circles. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be using that a lot more often. Before, it would never be a necessity for me because like I said, I didn't have dark circles or just the indent right there, the, you know, that darkness. Um, but now with the lack of sleep, <laughs> which I think I'll be using it even after baby girl comes, Riley Ray, I can say her name now, um, even after she comes because I probably won't be getting any sleep then either. But let's try out this new powder, you guys. This is also from Lawless. This is the Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder. This is the classic translucent one because I love the shade better. I feel like the pinky ones go really well if you have a little bit more of a tan. I believe this is also made without talc. Talc is known to irritate the skin, so that's really cool that they've formulated without it. I'm just gonna take my Sigma Edge Kabuki F87. This is my favorite brush to bake with. Press this underneath my eyes. Ooh, this is gonna be definitely brightening. I'm gonna bake all those areas that I put the concealer. All right, so now that I have those areas baked, I'm actually gonna take my fluffy powder brush and just lightly dust over the other areas to make sure that we set and it will be easier to also put on our bronzer and everything. All right, so I don't wanna let it bake too long, so I'm actually just going to sweep it away. All right, so the face is baked and it's set now. It definitely set the face. You can see that I am completely matte, which is fine with me. Um, it doesn't look dry on my skin. It actually looks pretty good. It, it reminds me a lot of Laura Mercier's, like the way that their finish gives you. It's very um, just blurring and it's really nice. And it definitely does, like if you bake with it, it definitely does brighten up the under eye. So it'll be interesting to try out the pink one. I'm gonna continue to use this and I'll let you guys know more about it in my monthly dopes and nopes or my best and worst, whatever I title it. <laughs> but so far, so good, it did the job. All right, so we're gonna play with the new Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions palette. So this is a sapphire one. The other one I have here is Topaz. I was gonna do Topaz, but I feel like it's still such like a fall look and everyone's like, oh, you should step out of your comfort zone and do color. So let's just play with the blue, right? I mean, I think the blue might be pretty and will be fun to try out. Let's hope that this works. I already prepped and primed my lids with my NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I really like this. The shade that I like is medium. I actually tried light the other day and I didn't like it. Medium is like my go-to. So the first shade that I'm gonna go into is this one right here. It's just like a neon kind of lime green. And I'm gonna pop this in my crease. All right. I've got like no color payoff whatsoever with that shadow. So that is not gonna work. Um, I'm gonna go into this teal one right now instead and put this there. Hopefully this gives me a little bit more better color payoff. Oh yeah, there we go. Got some color. All right, so it's a little messy, but don't worry, we're gonna clean it up. I'm gonna go into this blue right here and I'm gonna concentrate this one more on the outer corner of the eye and into the crease, but. I I would still wanna keep that gradient effect. I already did some concealer to clean up the lid. I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I put a little bit of MAC Fix Plus on here because I'm noticing the glitter is a little bit loose. So I want it to be more pigmented. And I'm gonna press this on top of where I placed that concealer. All right, so I'm back and I have to say this shade, oh my God, it is not easy to work with at all. It's very sparse. I tried using Matte Fix Plus with it. It kind of made it look a little crusty on my lids. Like the glitter stuff, the glitter eyeshadows that I tried from Too Faced from that new 2D for d collection was better than this powder on my lids. Like, I don't know, it looks a little crusty. It had a ton of fallout. I like fallout all over my face right now. Um, it looks pretty okay on camera. It's just not, it's just, I hate, I don't like that shade. I don't like that shade. It was a pain in the ass to work with. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the teal 
and the blue and run that down here to kind of even out the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some mascara and my lashes and I'll be right back because I don't have anything new to try out. Okay, so I put on my lashes. I'm wearing the Lily Lashes. I believe these ones are the Makeup by Samuel ones. And if you wanna use my code, it's Madison M to save like money on them. They're kind of pricey, but they last for like ever, you guys. I reuse them for, I don't, I rarely throw them away because I just keep reusing them. But now I'm gonna put some eyeliner on my waterline. I'm gonna use the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. It's an easy glide and waterproof silky nude. So I'm just gonna pop this on down here. There, oh, that looks cool, I love it. It really makes the eyes pop and this thing is, this pencil is so creamy and so pigmented and Essence is actually like usually really cheap. So this probably is like only like a dollar or something. So that's good, I like that. Okay, so we need to bronze up this face. So I'm gonna go into one of the MAC ones. So we have light medium, which is right here, medium to dark. So I don't think I'm gonna use medium to dark. I think it's gonna be too dark for me. I actually think I'm gonna go into this one right here in the middle and I'm gonna use this one to bronze up my face. Okay, so that worked out really well. And it's so funny, whenever I think of emphasize, it just like throws me back to when Jaclyn Hill first started YouTube. She used to always use emphasize underneath her eyes. And it's cool that they have like all of these in a palette now so yeah I really like that that's awesome so so far so good I like the way that I applied it I applied beautifully um, for the blush that we're gonna use um, I have two colors here I think we're gonna go with this one right here this is from Laura Mercier I haven't tried these yet this is rose these are their blushes so I'm just going to lightly press this on this to the skin oh that's pretty it's a really pretty blush. And then I'm just going to blend it out. That's actually really, really pretty. I like that. It went on really nicely. It's pigmented and it blends out beautifully. It's not patchy. I love the color. I really like the color rose. I think I'm also really gonna like this one right here. This is peach, because I love tones like that. I just feel like rose was a little bit on the cooler side to go with the blue. Next up for highlight, we're gonna go into this one right here. This is the Pro Fusion Blush and Glow One. It's a five color blush and highlight palette. Pro Fusion is a really affordable brand. They are actually in Target. I saw a huge display at my Target and they were all like discounted, which is crazy. So definitely check them out because I'm very impressed by them. I think I'm gonna go into Fizz right here because Fizz is a little bit more of a golden tone. So I'm gonna go into Fizz and I'm gonna use this to highlight. Whoa, that's pigmented. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna blend it out a bit. So it doesn't look like a streak of highlights on my face. There we go, see how that works. Also, if you take your beauty blender, it also helps push it into the skin too, which is really nice. All right, for lips, I'm gonna go into the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Sao Paulo. Um, this is one of my favorite ones for like years from Ofra, you guys. This one is so pretty. That is the perfect shade, Sao Paulo. And another one that I've always been getting, like whenever I wear it, I get questions asked. If I'm wearing it on Instagram stories or in a video, it's Manila. That one I get questions asked every single time I wear it. And I've been wearing that one nonstop. It's like in my purse. But this is like a perfect nude to kind of go with this look. And to finish it off, we're gonna test out this mist. Hopefully this doesn't ruin it. This is the Frank Body Anti-Angry Face Mist. So you can use this before or after makeup and throughout the day, whenever you need to de-stress and refresh. Namaste. <laughs> so I'm gonna shake it. Let's see how that, oh, it looks like it's okay. Oh, <laughs> why do they do these sprays? So insane, oh my God. Oh, this thing is strong. You really want this like all the way out here. <laughs> Otherwise you're gonna like, yeah. At least you can like, it gives you a mist. But dang, this thing is strong. Like this thing, I could shoot it and it's gonna hit all the way over to the other side of the room. That's how strong this thing. I feel like I just did jet line my face. All right, so here's the completed look, testing out those products. Hey, we use color on the eyes. Pat on the back for Madison on that one. Um, it really makes your blue eyes pop. I have to say it turned out really pretty, but it definitely was not easy to use. Like with that shimmer shade, I have the fallout all over my eyes. So if you end up picking up this palette, I would definitely recommend doing your eyes first before touching those shimmers and do your face last. So that way you can wipe away the glitter. 
um, cause I have a ton of fallout that came out. It definitely was harder to use. I have to say like my favorite colored palette that I found the most easiest to use and blend out has been the Sephora Pro color. I think it's called the editorial palette. You guys know I love the Sephora Pro palettes, but the editorial one is so pigmented and so easy to blend out. It's beautiful. So I would actually recommend that one because you get like all the colors in that one palette. So I think this was pretty, but it definitely was hard for me to use. So I'm kind of eh on it. I'm sorry. I'm just not the biggest fan of that shimmer, that shimmer really did it for me. And then that lime color just was not pigmented at all. Um, the other blues were actually pretty decent to work with, but I still think the Sephora one was is easier to work with. So just as a heads up there. But um, now going into the foundation, I really like the foundation. I think it looks really pretty on the skin. Honestly, if you use it with a good setting powder like this one or Laura Mercier, something that's very mattifying, I think you can even get away with this foundation if even if you are oily, if you just make sure you set it. Um, it has a beautiful finish on it. I have to say it's just, it's definitely full coverage and it looks amazing on the skin. So I really like that. I also like the setting powder. I'm gonna continue to use them. I'll let you guys know more about them in a future video, but so far, so good. The setting powder really mattifies you, like really mattifies you, which is okay. I don't look dry at all. I like at all underneath my eyes or anything where I put it. So that's good. Um, the blushes were really pretty from Laura Mercier. I really like those. Also this glow palette right here, that shade, so pretty. I didn't want to use the blushes because I didn't want that shimmer on there, but the highlight shade was beautiful. The MAC sculpting palette, I think is a great sculpting palette. It kind of even reminds me a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette. I haven't used that one, I feel like in years, but it kind of reminds me of that one, but I think that the, um, the contour shades are beautiful in here and it did a great job and it wasn't patchy at all. So I really like that. I really like the nude liner from Essence. Honestly, you cannot go wrong with Essence. They always impress me. Also getting into the concealer, I probably will be using this a lot more often now, now that I see how like good coverage it is and brightening it is for my eyes because I am tired. I am tired. My eyes, they're showing it. They've never shown it like this before, so I'm definitely gonna continue to use that. I really like the brush from It Cosmetics, the star brush right here. This one is kind of gimmicky. I think it's a fun brush, but you don't need it. It's kind of gimmicky, um, but I really like this one. Was there anything else? Oh, the lipstick. I love Ofra liquid lipsticks. If you guys have been following me since the beginning, I did like a whole like best liquid lipsticks video where I broke down like all of them this was like probably like two years ago and I believe Ofra was like my number one like top favorite and they've been my favorite for a very long time. So I really like this one. Again, that one's Sao Paulo. I think I'm saying it right. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up. And I believe that is everything that we tested out on the face, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see next and also give me a thumbs up for using color in this video. We did colored eyeshadow, you guys. <laughs> this is awesome. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I I will see you in my next video.